an investor looking for premium market opportunities. Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Very good morning to you and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Kalkine Studios in Sydney, Australia. Now, Australian shares are set to trade higher this morning, likely boosted by mining and technology stocks, while US inflation data is awaited for later today. Yesterday, the Australian share market closed 1.3% higher at 7,310. Moving on to business news from this morning now. The Commonwealth Bank of Australia and the Australian Association of Practice Management have signed an agreement to partner up to build digital practice management capabilities. It will focus on driving the best practice using power of digital solutions. The recent ComBank GP Insights for this year report that revealed two-thirds of general practices in Australia plan to invest more in digital solutions to rise patient demand for greater convenience and to manage operational and financial challenges. Around 8 in 10 patients said online options for booking and managing their appointments improves their overall experience. AMP Energy and Iron Road have executed a strategic framework agreement and will start a nine-month exclusivity period following a competitive Cape Hardy green hydrogen offer to bid process. Headquartered in Canada, AMP is a vertically integrated renewable energy developer and supplier funded by institutional investors, including global private equity firm, the Carlyle Group, driving rapid growth in AMP's core markets of Australia, Japan, Spain and the UK. AMP's hydrogen development business is currently developing four sites globally adjacent to renewable energy projects with a primary focus on Australia and South Australia in particular. E-commerce company Rulife Group is delighted to announce it's been appointed by Fiji Carver, a global beverage and natural medicine company, as Fiji Carver's distributor for China and Australia. Rulife will provide digital marketing, social media operations and e-commerce store operations in both markets. They've also been appointed to manage and operate Fiji Carver's Australian-based online sales operations. The Fiji Carver range includes relaxant and sleep aid capsules, drinking Carver, dietary shots and new ready-to-drink RTD products. The size of the global health and wellness market was over 4.7 billion American dollars in 2021 and is projected to reach 12.8 billion dollars by 2031. Well, it's time for a short break now, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Calcine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Calcai Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. And welcome back to the ASX Breakfast Report. Overnight, the S&P 500 ended flat. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 0.29%. Meanwhile, the Nasdaq Composite shed 0.43%. Across the Atlantic, European markets closed higher. London's FTSE gained 0.6%. Frankfurt added 0.4%, Paris closed 0.9% higher. In Asian markets, Tokyo's Nikkei added 1.1%, Hong Kong's Hang Seng gained 0.8% and China's Shanghai Composite closed 0.1% lower. Well, that's all for our ASX The Breakfast Report this morning here at Calkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. I'm Rachel signing off for now.